That's being kind. Right. Well, I, I, I think you said the word, you just have to over, overcome it. You know, you're on the road in a, a really cool environment. You know, it reminded me of the uh, KG days uh, with the crowd here tonight. And when they're hitting threes like they did in the first half and getting offensive rebounds, you allow for their crowd to be a sixth man. And um, I thought we did a much better job of, of having high awareness and attention to the three-point line. Um, I think they had maybe three in the second half. They had one like at the end. But the emotional side of the game is something that, you know, I don't want to take away from our guys. Um, but we also have to understand, and, and I thought we showed it tonight, when it's time to just buckle down and execute and win, um, we were able to do it consistently um, in the second half, whether it was, you know, scoring and executing on the offensive end or just the ability to come up with a 50-50 ball and get a stop on the defensive end. Um, I thought our transition defense was a little bit better, especially against Edwards when he's, you know, flying at you um, in a one-on-one -on -one situation. So it, it was certainly a textbook overcome type game for us. And um, I told the guys, you know, 59 wins is, is pretty cool to get the um, division um, is pretty cool. And, and we have a, a motto of celebrating everything because there's a lot of people that sacrifice and work hard so that we can enjoy these moments. Well, they, they played a, a coverage where they were trying to take book out and we were finding him on the backside. Um, and so, you know, it's something we work on, you know, getting that quick pass out of the blitz and then allowing, you know, DA and JaVale and Biz to make plays out of that. And I thought he did a really good job there. Um, he had some bunnies in the first half that he probably wished he could get back because he would have had 40 plus tonight. But his ability to play in the short roll is, is a weapon for us. And then, you know, he hits a three at the end just to kind of, you know, icing on the cake for him. So I'm, I'm happy for him, but I'm, I'm also pleased as, as to how he did it. You know, it wasn't a throw me the ball and let me go get mine. He did it within the scheme of what we do. I mean, how seems like you guys got it going. That's, that's Kevin. Kevin Young is driving me nuts with offensive rebounding, you know, and he's been talking to DA about even when you don't get it in a, in a roll and you set a pick and roll, you still set yourself up to, to get an offensive rebound. And you know, he and Javel, in my opinion, are two of the best in that environment. And um, you know, DA has, has a knack for the ball. You know, we've seen him just tip, tip, tip and get it to himself. He, he's done that a number of times, but tonight he was, you know, 35 and 14 on the road like that in a, in a big game with so many guys out. Like it, it says a lot about his growth. Is that right? I mean, that's a bit of a Rushmore, if you will, right? So. The, the young buck can score the ball. Um, but not only that, he can facilitate offense. You know, I, I thought his ability to get off of it, he had a number of hockey assists tonight you know, where he got it to DA, and DA was finding guys, or JaVale was finding on the backside. 35 minutes, uh, knowing you got a back to back, and in the end, he still had unreal energy. He goes and dunks the one at the end, and um, I thought he got fouled on that. And, that's where the emotional side of the game <laughs> comes to the, the, the top. But his ability to score in the fashion that he scores night in and night out is, is pretty unique. Uh, sometimes you think of him as a throwback, but I, I don't think that way. I just think he's a, a unique um, 
basketball player. And sometimes the scoring takes away from his defense. And that's the, I, I, again, I've been pushing that for a minute. I, I think he's, uh, along with Jay and, and Mikhail and DA and Chris, like those five guys get after it on defense too. And that's, that's what makes him unique. He doesn't just expend energy on offense. He does it also on defense. Yeah, I mean, you know, 10 people call you a donkey, buy a saddle. You know what I'm saying? You got everybody telling them, shoot it, man. Like, I would love to have play on, played on a team where coaches are telling you, players are telling you, everybody's like, shoot it. And he's, I think he's finally in a comfortable place where he's like, if I got it, I'm letting it go. And then he's putting it down and getting to his, his mid-range. And that's something that, Kevin and I knew about him because we had him in Philly, where we saw all this stuff. So hopefully that's a another side of his game that he's you know starting to peel back and let everybody see. We'll hit Kellen and Gerald on Zoom. First up, Kellen. Hey, Monty. You talk about Monty uh, mental stamina a, a lot with this team. So with six technical fouls, the way the team responded in the fourth quarter, does that kind of encapsulate that mental stamina to you? I think so. I, I think we knew this was going to be a physical game um, just based on the last time we played them down the stretch of that last game, it got a bit chippy and uh, they're a team that's one. I don't, I don't know what it is. Nine out of 11, 10, out, whatever it is. Like they, they've been playing good basketball and have for a while. So um, we know where we want to go. You got to win games like this on the road. And so this is not just practice for us. It's, it's something that, you know, we value these experiences and um, you got to have a level of mental fortitude and stamina to, you know, withstand runs, come into a timeout and come out of that timeout with execution and poise, uh, not just to run an offensive set, but to get a defensive stop. And I, I think we're getting much better at that. Last up will be Gerald. Hey, Coach, I know your focus and DA's focus is obviously much bigger than the guy that's across from him, but when you see the way that he kind of rises to the occasion for some of these matchups, you know, against Giannis, Joel, uh, Kat tonight, is there something about DA that he just, you know, relishes these types of matchups? You know, I, I, I can't speak for him, but I, I think just being a competitor, you're always dealing with your own personal pride. You know, that's why you work on your game. That's why you study film. That's why you do all the stuff we do. I mean, talking about the best basketball players on the earth going up against each other every single night. If you don't bring your A game, you're going to get embarrassed. And so I think there's a ton of pride there. Um, and I would, if I had to speak for DA, I, I think he respects uh, Carl. You know, Carl's an all-star. He's an all-NBA guy. He's, he's done a lot. And I'm, I know that DA wants that. Um, so when you play against guys like that, they, they bring the best out of you, but you got to work on your game and be ready for that level of competition. Thank you. Thank you.